In this video, I would like to talk about reduction of carboxylic acid and its derivatives. Carboxylic acids or carboxylic acid anion, they can reduce by lithium aluminum hydride to primary alcohol. Always first step of this process is using lithium aluminum hydride and at second step we need to use water or acidic solutions for neutralization of the mixture and our product. If we don't use the second part, then our product will be an alkoxide anion. So basically by addition of water or acid, we are going to convert this negative oxygen to OH. Please keep in mind, carboxylic acid, it is acid and lithium aluminum hydride, it's very strong base. So always first step is formation of anions. So regardless of using carboxylic acid or anion, we can have the same product, a primary alcohol. Here is first example, lithium aluminum hydride, step two, neutralization. All we should do is converting of carboxylic acid functional group to primary alcohol, CH2OH. So we need to count how many carbon here we have. There is four carbon, so our product should have also four carbon, but the carboxylic acid group it convert to CH2OH. Here is another example, cyclopentane carboxylic acid. You would like to use lithium aluminum hydride, then acidic condition. Again, all we need to do is converting of this functional group to CH2OH. Sometimes we may don't see this second part. Always after addition of lithium aluminum hydride, we need to add water. So even if it doesn't mention sometime in some question, we need to assume there is an acid or water for second step. And the last example for acid is this compound. I'm just going to write lithium aluminum hydride, but we are going to assume there is a second step. We should know that the lithium aluminum hydride is not going to reduce the double bond. So it doesn't have any effect on C double bond C. So when we want to convert this carboxylic acid functional group, we are not going to change anything about the double bond. So carboxylic acid functional group is convert to primary alcohol. This reaction is only happened by lithium aluminum hydride. We are not able to use sodium borohydride for reduction of carboxylic acid. This reagent is only able to reduce aldehyde and ketone, but it doesn't have any effect on carboxylic acid derivatives. After carboxylic acid, I would like to start acid derivatives with acid chloride. If we perform reaction between acid chloride and lithium aluminum hydride, at first step, one of the hydride on aluminum is going to transfer to acid chloride and push this double bond to the oxygen. So it converts to this intermediate. Then this negative oxygen, it come back and keep chlorine out. So we have C double bond O and hydrogen. It make aldehyde, but we are not able to isolate aldehyde because aldehyde immediately is going to react with lithium aluminum hydride and convert to primary alcohol. So regardless of having acid chloride or carboxylic acid, we are going to have same product at the end. Let's have some example. By lithium aluminum hydride, it's going to convert it to primary alcohol. So acid chloride functional group is going to convert to primary alcohol. Here is another example, again with lithium aluminum hydride. And all we need to do converting acid chloride functional group to primary alcohol, CH2OH. So we can easily convert it to alcohol, but if I would like to stop reduction on aldehyde, I cannot use lithium aluminum hydride. We need to use another reagent. So for these conversions, instead of using lithium aluminum hydride, I need to use lithium aluminum hydride tributoxy. Once this hydrogen transfer 
to the acid chloride after kicking off the chloride reaction will stop and it won't move to the next step and won't convert to the primary alcohol so if we want to stop on aldehyde we should use this reagent for acid chloride here is some example lithium aluminum hydride t-butoxide then the answer is just replacing of chlorine with hydrogen atom so we convert it to aldehyde functional group here is another example so basically the structure it really doesn't matter and all we should do converting of chlorine to hydrogen atom so we can have aldehyde after acid chloride let's talk about ester another acid derivatives here is the ester functional group for reduction of ester with lithium aluminum hydride you are going to have the same process like acid chloride at first step one of the hydrogen atom transfer and open the double bond then you are going to have this tetrahedral intermediate then this negative oxygen can come back to the carbon and kick this or prime then the remaining for first part is aldehyde and the second part is going to be R prime O negative but again this aldehyde it is not uh, stable under this condition and immediately react with lithium aluminum hydride and convert to primary alcohol so if we transfer another hydrogen to this carbonyl group it will open it again then what is remaining is R CO negative and two hydrogen on this carbon plus R prime O negative after addition of water or acid both of these two negative oxygen they're going to convert to OH so we are going to have R CH two OH plus R prime OH so basically the carbonyl group and its attachment convert to one primary alcohol and R prime convert to another alcohol let's have some example ethyl benzoate by reaction with lithium aluminum hydride the carbonyl part is going to convert one primary alcohol and the second part is going to convert to another alcohol so i'm going to rewrite the structure and i convert the carbonyl group to primary alcohol then for second part we are going to have two carbon one and two then oxygen so i just put one hydrogen on oxygen and convert it to another alcohol here is another example we are going to use lithium aluminum hydride and we would like to write the product again so i'm going to convert this part to the primary alcohol then instead of carbonyl group i write ch2oh and for the second part i just write the whole structure and add one hydrogen to the oxygen atom so we have these two alcohol for the product of this reduction and as you can see here the c double bond c like this bond it won't react with lithium aluminum hydride in all of these examples here is another example if we have a cyclic ester and we react it with lithium aluminum hydride what we are going to have so for writing the product for this reaction we should convert this part and this part to alcohol so instead of carbonyl group i'm going to write ch2oh then i'm going to write the rest of a structure and here i'm going to have another alcohol if we take a look at the mechanism here we can see this or prime is going to the out of molecule so the bond between carbonyl and or prime is going to break but because we have a cyclic molecule this oh will remain at the end of the chain so whenever we have a cyclic ester our product should be a diol for reduction with lithium aluminum hydride but if i want to stop the reduction on aldehyde step like acid chloride there is a reagent we can do that ester and diisobutyl aluminum hydride this reagent can convert ester to aldehyde but of course the second part is going to convert to alcohol again to having aldehyde we should perform this reaction at negative 78 celsius 
This reagent diisobutyl aluminum hydride. So most of the time in the textbook and the question, instead of writing the formula, we can see DBA. DBA is means diisobutyl aluminum hydride. And it can convert ester to aldehyde. Let's have some example. We would like to perform reaction between this compound and DBA. The carbonyl group, it should convert to aldehyde. And the other part, it should convert to alcohol. So here is our first product, which is a cyclohexanol. And for second part, we should attach one hydrogen to this part. So we have hydrogen, then the rest of the structure will be same. Another example, we would like to use DIBA, diisobutyl aluminum hydride. Then for this part, we should have aldehyde. Then second part, the one it has single bond with oxygen, it should convert to alcohol. So OH and then the rest of the structure. In the next part of this video, I'm going to discuss reduction of amide. When we reduce amide with lithium aluminum hydride, it doesn't produce alcohol. It's going to produce amines. Let's see what is the mechanism, then I'm going to explain some examples. First step, we are going to have transferring of hydride from aluminum hydride to carbonyl group. So after first step, we are going to have negative oxygen here. Then here we have nitrogen, R prime and R prime. This negative oxygen is going to attach to aluminum and form this intermediate. Then O Aluminum hydride is a good living group and this nitrogen lone pair is attacking to the carbon and kick this part out of the molecule. So at the next step, we have this intermediate and is positive R prime and R prime. Then another hydride from another aluminum hydride can transfer to this intermediate so it attacks to the carbon and then push back this electron to the nitrogen. So at the end, we have R, CH, then another H here, then the rest of molecule. So then let's write CH2 here. So when we have reaction between amide and lithium aluminum hydride, all we should do is just converting C double bond O to CH2. I write this mechanism for tertiary amide, but regardless of the type of amide, we are going to have same reaction. So if we have primary, secondary, or tertiary amide, after reaction with lithium aluminum hydride, we are going to have same type of reaction. We are going to have RNH2, RNH, R prime, and R and R prime 2. We just remove this oxygen in our product. Let's have some examples. We would like to reduce this amide with lithium aluminum hydride. So we should write the whole structure again, but we don't put double bond with oxygen. Then this is our product. Let's have another example. We are going to reduce this amide with lithium aluminum hydride. Again, we are going to write the whole structure with a double bond with oxygen. Then this will be our answer. And the last acid derivatives, it's nitrile compound. For nitrile compound, there is actually two different ways for reduction. The first way is reaction with lithium aluminum hydride and then using acid. It's going to convert this triple bond to the single bond. Or we can use hydrogen gas in the presence of palladium on carbon catalyst. Then we are going to have same product. Here is some example, H2 palladium on carbon. We are going to write the whole structure. Then the C in nitrile will convert to CH2 and N convert to NH2. Here is another example. Sometimes using lithium aluminum hydride or hydrogen, it gives us two different products. Here is one of those examples. If I use lithium aluminum hydride, I just need to convert cyanide to CH2, NH2. But if I use hydrogen gas in the presence of 
catalyst. We are going to have CH2 and H2 again. So it converts nitrile to amino groups. But this double bond is going to reduce by hydrogen gas. So alkene in the presence of hydrogen, they can convert to the single bond. So that is the difference between these two reagents. So if we have double bond or triple bond in our structure, we cannot use hydrogen because they're going to react with hydrogen too. If we only need to convert cyanide. But sometimes we may need to convert both of these functional groups, then we can use hydrogen gas. Thank you for watching this video. For watching more video, please subscribe our YouTube channel.